Now, one other thing I've been playing around with is that there are also clock outputs from the Sapel. Normally, I would have this filter envelope triggered on every pulse from my arpeggiator. And there is a repeat of the clock out here on the Sapel. However, there's this additional clock output here that is random. It can be not as often in the slower position, which means only occasionally will we get triggers. Set the cable side here, you can see it. And that's actually affected by the speed of the smoothly fluctuating control. The faster it fluctuates, the more quickly it will change between clumps of triggers and no triggers. This will give you more grouped changes. A lot of gates continuously, and then eventually a lot of non-gates, like right here. Or you can say, give me all of my gates coming in plus additional bursts for those who like burst generators. So I'll put it up to its greater than setting. I'll slow down the arpeggiator so you can hear the bursts when they come out. You can see from the LED blinking that there are some random bursts. Not as clear with this patch. Maybe if I took the random voltage out of this. You hear just the envelopes. There's a couple of random triggers. I like the less end setting where just occasional triggers come out. Or I can take a straight clock output. Speaking of clocks, I'm going to turn off the arpeggiator so I'm no longer getting pulses from my keyboard. I'm going to put this into drone mode for now. Open up the cutoff. I can unplug this and run freely off of the clock inside the sapel. Very wide ranging clock. I can pause the clock and hold values. And you can switch this particular input jack to either gate this on and off or act as CV for that clock speed. Additionally, if you like more random clock events, you can go ahead and say, hey, combine the green channel's clocks in with my clocks. To do that, you hit this little switch here to say, include green. And now you're hearing a pulse happen when either there's a yellow or a green clock event. have two of these sections. All of this is repeated down here in this green section. I absolutely love this module, the way that it gets me all these random voltages and the way that they're tied together to unified clocks and probability weightings. Frap Tools did a very good job with this one.